Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, welcome back to Outward. Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to take that old rusty sword that you find up on top of Conflux Mountain and turn it into a usable weapon that's fairly decent. Alright, so first of all you got to go up to Conflux Mountain. If you don't know where that's at guys, you go out of, you go out of Sierra Zone, go to the, so the path, goes to the right, go down, go into the mountain and then go up the path just right here okay and it's going to zigzag it's going to switch back back and forth until you come up and you're going to be right here okay and we are already at the top so i'm going to go ahead and yeah there is a there is a rock mantis here that you have to watch out for he looks like a rock he scared the crap out of me the first time i ever saw him so i'm actually gonna we're gonna go ahead and just do like this we're gonna throw a trap down for him throw a magical trap down for him and then i'm gonna guide him over here and we're gonna kill him pretty easy stuff there he is. Hey, buddy, what's up? All right, guys, once you've killed the uh, the Rock Mantis, go ahead. And you, you probably don't even need to kill the Rock Mantis. You probably just come up here, take the Strange Rusted Sword. And, and this Strange Rusted Sword right here, guys, by itself, it does 20 damage and 17 impact, which isn't too bad, but you can actually turn it into a lot better weapon. And for that, we're going to have to go to Levant, we're going to have to go to Monsoon, and we're going to have to go to Berg. So let's go ahead, and the closest one, I guess, is Berg, so let's go ahead and head on over there. Okay, guys, once you hit Berg, you're going to have to go to the blacksmith shop. You need, you need a very special hammer for this. We're going to go right here. We're going to talk to Kokiza. Hey there. And we're going to get the blacksmith vintage hammer. It's going to cost you 300 gold. All right, with that in hand, then we're going to have to head over to, since we're kind of close, we can head over to Levant. Now, Levant is in the Abrasor Desert. If you didn't know, it's the main city in the Abrasor Desert. So we're going to go ahead and go over to uh, the Alchemist Shop. Which is going to be here at Tawan the Alchemist. So we're coming in the west side. You're going to go to the right. Go right through here. Go down. Alchemist is going to be right here. Now, Tawan is going to have a broken flask when we're buying. It's going to be 700 silver. Now that you have the hammer and you have the broken flask, we last stop is going to be in Monsoon at the Alchemist Shop. All right, once you're in Monsoon, guys, go right through. The, as you're going through the gate, go straight. Go to the left right here. And talk to Lane the Alchemist. Is there something you need? I want to buy something. And, she, and Lane the Alchemist, he should have a poking stick. Which is a major's poking stick right here. We're gonna get buy that for three seventy five. And then what you do, guys, is you just go into your inventory, go into your crafting, make sure you've unequipped the sword, put it in your backpack or in your pocket. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in the sword, the hammer doesn't have to be in any particular order, the poking stick, and the chemist broken flask. We're going to craft this. Oh my god, what did we get? What did we get? We got Brand, guys. Does 18 damage plus 18 cold damage. Impact is 27. Attack speed is 1. There you go. That's Brand right there. There's your brand new weapon. Cold weapon. Cold weapons like my mace, you can add another effect to them because they automatically have cold on them so you can already you can go ahead and you can add like say fire onto it so you you can infuse with fire so you're going to be able to do even more damage than uh, than it's on top of the cold damage and the regular damage that you're doing anyway all right guys well that's how you take a rusty old sword and turn it into a decent weapon in outward hey guys if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do that right now as i always say i am my usual me you be your usual you and we'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you we'll see you later Bye bye